It's the 29th of June 2023, yeah. 9 o'clock in the morning. We are waiting here for probably the highlight of this ceremony. Uh, what is happening right now? You can see the, the buffalo here, the carabao, and all the people around waiting. What are we expecting? Okay, so today, uh, today is uh, the sacrifice day. Or in Torajan, they call Mantulu, yeah, it's a special day for sacrifice. So now the family, the community here, calling all of the buffalo here in the sacrifice area in Rante, and then the community, the family will decide how many buffalo will be killed. Yeah? And some of them still alive, but they will sell the buffalo by the auction, and then the money they get uh, to the support the Dr. Sita, school, yeah. Yeah, community. Also, yeah. Oh, do so, for yeah. buffalo sacrifice in Toronto, yeah, we do the, we do the, we do the different way, different way, different way. So later, you will see, if you are strong enough to see the buffalo sacrifice for the Toronto, so it will be different way. They will only hold the nose of the buffalo, and then we will cut with the machete. Yeah? So for the Torajan, it's the fastest way, fastest way for the animal to die. So the animal, they don't feel like a pain, they don't feel like I will die. Yeah, it's the way of a Torajan, that we call Martin Goro. They cut the neck of the buffalo in the fastest way. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. When I was here 25 years ago, uh, it was smaller than this, of course. But um, the beginning was that uh, the house they built, uh, there were probably 30 women in black uh, um, singing sad songs. And those same girls with the coffin on a, in front on a, on a bamboo uh, construction, they went up there and were laughing. Now, I don't recognize that here. Um, has that changed or are we going to see that here as well? Sorry. Or is it probably because we were in another region where the, the, the culture is probably different and they have different different methods of celebrating? It was, to my view, it was one day and then they killed everything, the pigs, the chicken, all at the same time, the goats and of course the carapaus at the same time. And then they prepared them in bamboo, put the meat in it and distributed it to the people. That's what I experienced. Is that now after 25 years new or is what I have explained you now still existing maybe in other regions Makale or wherever it was that's where I was that's where I told you I saw the Eiffel Tower yeah, yeah. Yeah? is it still there the same or has that changed in 25 years uh, honestly uh, long long time ago the Torajan culture the Torajan tradition would still be when the Torajan still believed in the Aluk Tudu. But since the Torajan offered the Christianity, so we combine, we combine. We practice the Christianity and then we practice also the Torajan tradition. The whole tradition. Okay. So now, nowadays, the Torajan culture is quite a bit modern. A bit modern way of the But the meaning is not still similar. Okay, okay.
Jadi turun belasang Saya turun dah lah Sudah dah sama-sama Kapolan dah Our local guide will now explain us what we are experiencing here. Okay, so welcome to Kalipuan Motori Mekanik Stone. So, in Taraja, if you see the place with the men here, the men here stone like this. So, the place like that, this that we call Rante. Rante for the Tarajan means the place where the funeral ceremony take place yeah? and then the stone like this this you call that this uh, that's we call uh, simbuang stone simbuang stone for the high class interages like a greatness memory of the family yeah of the fam uh, family so one okay so one one stone one meg uh, men here that's uh, represent for one person who died yeah. so a few days before the main ritual of the funeral ceremony started the family the community will help the family to pull the stone from the forest from where they made and then they erect it here they plant it here and then after the main ritual will start it yeah like, yeah, like that And this is how far from Rantepao? It's around uh, 10 kilometers from Rantepao, uh, in the northern part of Rantepao. Yeah. So what you are saying, the 16th, 17th century, the uh, the bull, the Karabao, did not play a role yet. Yeah. How did the Karabao come into the history? Karabao? The, the Karabao, the, the bull. Yeah. So the bull for the Tarajan is symbol of uh, prosperity for the Tarajan. The most biggest animal that we have in Tarajan. So Was that from long time ago? How did that happen that the uh, bull became the symbol? Yeah, it is from long, long time ago since uh, because in Tarajan believe when the God created the human being, everything, then and they also created the, the Karbau, the buffalo. Okay. And then, then it will be part of Tarajan. Torajan culture, Torajan tradition. In Torajan tradition, there are four subjects in our life, or important thing in our life, that we call Talulolona Apa Toninga. Talulolona means uh, the first one is a human being, and then the plantation, and then animal, and then the traditional house. So all of the four parts support each other. Yeah. Okay, but when you go through these villages here, we see a lot of churches, yeah. which is the colonial influence of the Dutch. Uh, was that at the beginning for the locals here more like a revolution or did they just accept it and why did they accept it? At the, at the, at the, at the first time, the, I mean like the, the Dutch missionaries come here around 1910, 1910 yeah, around 1910 the, the, Dutch, uh, the Dutch missionaries, uh, the name uh, Van de Lostre, Antonio Van de Lostre, 
try to introduce the Christianity to Torajan. Some of Torajan accept the Christianity, and some of them still uh, don't want to accept that. Yeah, but because they probably the the Dutch, the missionaries use the friendly friendly way how to introduce the the Christianity. So now most of the Torajan convert to Christianity. Because they gave obviously donations and money and uh, how did that happen? At the, at the first time when they come here, so they build a school, give the education for the Torajan, support them, and yeah, yeah. So probably this is the reason why the Torajan, most of the Torajan. So what you are saying, this was incredibly peaceful, the the influence of the the Dutch colonialists and the people here. Uh, honestly, in my in my. In my experience, I, I have to say, yeah, we don't have really problem because we still practice our tradition, even if we are in modern religion. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, big problem because in modern world, like I'm the younger, the young people in Korea, but I still see the tradition, even if me born in Christian family. Yeah, but what do you personally take more serious, uh -huh. the Christianity or the traditional way? You personally? For me, that's why I want. I really want to be a, a tour guide because I want to know about the tradition more. <laughs> because no, the, the tradition inter, right now, the tradition not really pure. Yeah. Because yeah. Some, of, some of the rituals don't do that anymore. Yeah. Obvi obviously, you have been educated also about Christian uh, stuff, and you had from the family, from the tradition, you are faithful to the uh, the original belief. So, in your heart today. What is dominating? For me, heart. For me, in my my own experience, heart. Like uh, heart Christianity. Heart, uh, so you both take serious? Or is there the trend that for one you make fun? Sorry? For Christianity you can probably not take it too serious. I mean, I take serious. In my heart, in my mind, I'm not Christianity. But I still practice the tradition, Torajan tradition, like a funeral ceremony. But some of the ritual now, if we are in uh, Christianity, we don't do the ritual anymore because that's belong to the Aluk Todol. And there is no conflict? No conflict. That you say in the Christian religion that the, the body goes to the to the soil, while here you keep the dead for two, three, four, five years. So this is controversial then. The people have no problem with that? We have no problem. We still practice our tradition. But we st and then for the old religion in Taraja, we believe the spirit after life will go to Puya. But for the Christian, the spirit, if you're doing good during your life, the spirit, your, your, your spirit will go to the surga. To so the what is it? Is it the... Uh, Both? Yeah. You know, I think this needs some explanation here. We have here two coffins. And you can see very clearly that these are Christian elements here, the Last Supper. And just opposite here, we have the traditional Dorachian graves. How do you explain this? Okay, so in Toraja, because most of the like seventy, like seventy percent of Torajan was Christian. So like some Catholic, some Toraja Protestant. But we still combine, I mean, we'll still practice the Trajan tradition. So that's why in every symbol, like in, in this grave like this, you see the Christian symbol, but also we can see the, 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 the Torajan tradition symbol. So you're saying they're bringing the dead body here in these coffins, mm -hmm. take them out and put them here into the rock. Yeah. So this uh, uh, this coffin like this, uh, so probably the, 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 the person who died, he died outside of Toraja. I mean, in somewhere else, in, probably in Jakarta or in Papua. And then they use this coffin to bring back to Toraja, to bring back the body to Toraja. Use this coffin to keep the dead when we they still keep the dead body inside the house. But with this coffin, because it's quite big, so the family have to change with a bit small, smaller coffin. So this coffin, when we keep inside the cave like this, they don't take a lot of space. No, don't take because this is too big. So we'll, if we use this one uh, for the dead body to keep inside, and then we'll take a lot of space. So the family decide to change the coffin with their small size. Very interesting. Yeah.
I understand that a few years ago the procedure for the dead body was different than today. How is that? Okay, so how to preserve the body? I mean, in traditional way, use the herbal plantation or some coffee powder to put in the hole the dead body. But in modern way of Trajan, now we use the formula and who inject the, the dead body. Sometimes we ask the nurse to inject, or if the family, some of the family was expert to do that, so the family will inject. Okay. But only once, when someone just died, and then inject once, and then keep in there. Okay. Yeah. Because I remember when I was here 30 years ago, the man, old man, was still in his bed, yeah. and he was covered by leaves. So that they are not doing today anymore. Yeah. Modern way of Toraja right now, we use the modern way. Already put in the coffin. Yeah. That's new. Yeah. Wait. Okay. New way. Modern way of Torajan hold to keep to preserve them. Okay. Do you know this or something? Oh, coffee, coffee powder. In the. Mama, ini anaknya.